Jack, in this lesson, what are we gonna draw? A B. A B from what game? Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> they're not in the game yet, right? But they're coming. They are coming, so we thought it would be fun to draw a B. Now we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're using markers, some paper, and something to color with. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Yes. We're first gonna draw a rectangle in the middle of our paper. Now, we're gonna draw a line down, and then we're gonna draw a line across, and the bottom line, the bottom part of the L, is gonna be long so that we can draw this rectangle shape. All right, now we're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw this a little longer, then we're gonna draw the top of our B. I'm gonna come further out, and then down. I went past, so I'm gonna come back and connect it. There you go. Yeah. Good job, a rectangle. Now we're gonna draw a line down the middle of our rectangle, except I'm, I'm gonna draw it a little further over to the right. Draw a line straight down. Good. Now this is the front of our B, and this is the side of our B. He's just kind of a big block. Yes. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna draw his eyes. So let's first draw a line that comes across and crosses over that center line. Now the part on the right side is shorter than the side the left side. Then we're gonna draw a line down. This is for the side of the eye. Then we'll draw another line across the center line, and this is gonna match the same length as the top line. And then we'll connect those two lines together. There's one eye. Now we're gonna come across, and we want it to be the same height as the first eye, and we're gonna draw another line across. Now we want this length right here to be the same length as from here to here, because the side of the eye wraps around the corner of the B. Then we're gonna draw a line down, and this is gonna line up with the bottom of the eye, and then across. Cool, now there's a little highlight in the top corner of the eye. So we'll draw a little L shape, and then we'll draw an L over here in the corner of this eye also. Cool. Now when they're friendly, they're not angry, their eyes are big, but when they're angry, they're a little smaller and yeah. they're red. <laughs> what should we draw next? The antennas. The antennas. Okay. We're going to draw a little square at the top of the bee's head, and I'm going to draw a square over here also. Uh, I messed up, so I'm going to draw another line right next to it. That's okay because we're going to color the antenna in uh, black. Black. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll color in this each square. Then we're gonna draw a rectangle above the B. So we're gonna go up, over, and then back down. And it's gonna line up with the edge of this first square that we drew. Then we'll come over here and we'll draw another rectangle. It comes up, over, and down. And that lines up with this square also. And then let's color in those shapes. Next, let's draw the legs. We're gonna draw more rectangle shapes. We're gonna come down, over, and back up. I like the legs, they just look like they're hanging down. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna draw another leg right next to it. Same shape, another rectangle. And then we'll do one more. So there's three on each side for a total of six legs. Just like a regular insect. Yes. Now we're gonna draw the other legs on the other side. So first, we're gonna draw another rectangle that's the same size, but we're leaving um, more space. See how there's a bigger gap? Now let's draw two more legs that are behind all of these other ones to make it look 3D. So we're gonna draw a line that comes down, and I'm not gonna come down as far. A little shorter, and then we'll come across and connect. And then between each of these legs, let's just draw a line to connect. What should we draw now? The stripes. The stripes, okay. We're first gonna draw a line. Well, we'll draw one stripe first. So we're gonna draw a straight line down, and we're gonna draw right next, another line right next to it. So there's one stripe. Now we're gonna draw two more lines straight down, right next to each other. And then right here at the end, we're just gonna draw one more line. And this is for the little space. So there's two stripes, two brown stripes, and then the back of the bee, the bee's bottom, is brown. We have one more thing to draw. What, do, what is he missing? The wings! Yeah, the wings. <laughs> we'll start up here. Now the wings are pixelated, but we're just gonna simplify it and draw a shape, a diagonal line that comes up. Well, let's draw two diagonal lines that match each other. 
Then at the top, we'll draw a curve that comes over and then connects back in. A rhombus. Yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna draw, we'll draw a diagonal line going the other direction, same height. And then we'll, we'll connect those also at the very top. I'm gonna turn my paper sideways, there we go, and then connect in. If we ever went too fast, you guys at home can pause the video. There's also a stinger back here, but because he's facing us, you can't see the stinger. So we'll leave that off. Now we still have one more thing to do. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our bees. They're gonna look so much better colored in. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, good job on coloring out. <laughs> That really hurt. I know, my hands numb. <laughs> Good job on coloring your bee. <laughs> I love how it turned out. It looks so cool. This is probably my new favorite Minecraft drawing we've ever done. Same. Just because I think it looks cool. Yeah. And we drew it really big. <laughs> yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Minecraft bee. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.